Moscovium is a synthetic chemical element with symbol MIC and atomic number 115. It was first synthesized in 2003 by a joint team of Russian and American scientists at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia. In December 2015, it was recognized as one of four new elements by the Joint Working Party of International Scientific Bodies IUPAC and IUPAP. On 28 November 2016, it was officially named after the Moscow Oblast, in which the JINR is situated. Moscovium is an extremely radioactive element, its most stable known isotope, MOSCOVIUM 290, has a half life of only 0.8 seconds. In the periodic table, it is a P block transactinide element. It is a member of the seventh period and is placed in group 15 as the heaviest nictogen, although it has not been confirmed to behave as a heavier homologue of the nictogen bismuth. Moscovium is calculated to have some properties similar to its lighter homologues, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth, and to be a post-transition metal, although it should also show several major differences from them. In particular, moscovium should also have significant similarities to thallium, as both have one rather loosely bound electron outside a quasi-closed shell. About 100 atoms of moscovium have been observed to date, all of which have been shown to have mass numbers from 287 to 290. History Topic. Discovery The first successful synthesis of Moscovium was by a joint team of Russian and American scientists in August 2003 at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia. Headed by Russian nuclear physicist Yuri Oganesian, the team included American scientists of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. The researchers on February 2, 2004, stated in Physical Review C that they bombarded americium-243 with calcium-48 ions to produce four atoms of moscovium. These atoms decayed by emission of alpha particles to nihonium in about 100 milliseconds. The Dubna-Livermore collaboration strengthened their claim to the discoveries of moscovium and nihonium by conducting chemical experiments on the final decay product 268d flat. None of the nuclides in this decay chain were previously known, so existing experimental data was not available to support their claim. In June 2004 and December 2005, the presence of a dubnium isotope was confirmed by extracting the final decay products, measuring spontaneous fission SF activities and using chemical identification techniques to confirm that they behave like a group 5 element as dubnium is known to be in group 5 of the periodic table. Both the half-life and the decay mode were confirmed for the proposed 268 d flat, lending support to the assignment of the parent nucleus to Moscovium. However, in 2011, the IUPAC, IUPAP Joint Working Party JWP did not recognize the two elements as having been discovered, because current theory could not distinguish the chemical properties of group 4 and group 5 elements with sufficient confidence. Furthermore, the decay properties of all the nuclei in the decay chain of Moscovium had not been previously characterized before the Dubna experiments, a situation which the JWP generally considers troublesome, but not necessarily exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Road to confirmation Two heavier isotopes of moscovium, 289 mic and 290 mic, were discovered in 2009-2010 as daughters of the tennessine isotopes 293 tera seconds and 294 tera seconds. The isotope 289 mic was later also synthesized directly and confirmed to have the same properties as found in the tennessine experiments. The JINR also had plans to study lighter isotopes of moscovium in 2017 by replacing the americium-243 target with the lighter isotope americium-241. The 48 Ca plus 243M reaction producing moscovium is planned to be the first experiment done at the new Xi factory in 2018 at Dubna to test the systems in preparation for attempts at synthesizing elements 119 and 120. In 2011, the Joint Working Party of International Scientific Bodies, International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry (IUPAC), and International Union of Pure and Applied Physics (IUPAP) evaluated the 2004 and 2000 
2007 Dubna experiments, and concluded that they did not meet the criteria for discovery. Another evaluation of more recent experiments took place within the next few years, and a claim to the discovery of Moscovium was again put forward by Dubna. In August 2013, a team of researchers at Lund University and at the Gesellschaft für Schwerenentferschung (GSI) in Darmstadt, Germany announced they had repeated the 2004 experiment, confirming Dubna's findings. Simultaneously, the 2004 experiment had been repeated at Dubna, now additionally also creating the isotope 289 mic that could serve as a cross bombardment for confirming the discovery of the tenosine isotope 293 teraseconds in 2010. Further confirmation was published by the team at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in 2015. In December 2015, the IUPAC IUPAP Joint Working Party recognized the element's discovery and assigned the priority to the Dubna Livermore collaboration of 2009 2010, giving them the right to suggest a permanent name for it. While they did not recognize the experiments synthesizing 287 mic and 288 mic as persuasive due to the lack of a convincing identification of atomic number via cross reactions, they recognized the 293 teraseconds experiments as persuasive because its daughter 289 mic had been produced independently and found to exhibit the same properties. A 2016 study from Lund University and the GSI nevertheless cast some doubt on the syntheses of Moscovium and Tenosine after the IUP. IUPAC, IUPAP Joint Working Party recognized these elements as having been discovered in 2009-2010. It found that the decay chains assigned to the isotopes 287 mic and 288 mic were probably internally consistent, with the uncertainty due to the probable insensitivity of the measurements to very short and very long nuclide lifetimes, incorrect assignments of other decay chains from the 243 M plus 48 Ca reaction to different Moscovium isotopes, or uncertainty in the identification of some of the daughters of these Moscovium isotopes. On the other hand, the decay chains assigned to 289 mic, the isotope instrumental in the official confirmation of the synthesis of Moscovium and Tenosine, were found not to be internally consistent. Some subsets of these chains were found to be consistent, suggesting however that their true assignment was to 288 mic, and that their shortness indicated instead new spontaneous fission branches in its daughters 284 NH and 280 RG, or, more likely, undetected electron capture branches in these daughters leading to the even-even nuclides 284 CN and 280 Ds, which have a very low barrier to spontaneous fission. While the 294 teraseconds decay chains were found to be congruent, the 293 teraseconds decay chains approved by the JWP were found to probably not be so and require splitting into individual data sets assigned to different tenosine isotopes. It was also found that the set of chains from 293 teraseconds and 289 mic were not congruent. The multiplicity of states found when nuclides that are not even even undergo alpha decay is not unexpected and contributes to the lack of clarity in the cross reactions. This study criticized the IUPAC, IUPAP JWP report for overlooking subtleties associated with this issue, and noted that the fact that the only argument for the acceptance of the discoveries of Moscovium and Tenosine was an almost certainly non existent link was problematic. On 8 June 2017, two members of the Dubna team published a journal article answering these criticisms, analyzing their data on the nuclides 293 teraseconds and 289 mic with widely accepted statistical methods, noted that the 2016 studies indicating non-congruence produced problematic results when applied to radioactive decay, they excluded from the 90% confidence interval both average and extreme decay times, and the decay chains that would be excluded from the 90% confidence interval they chose were more probable to be observed than those that would be included. The 2017 reanalysis concluded that the observed decay chains of 293 teraseconds and 289 mic were consistent with the assumption that only one nuclide was present at each step of the chain, although it would be desirable to be able to directly measure the mass number of the originating nucleus of each chain as well as the excitation function of the 243 M plus 48 Ca reaction. Topic. Naming Using Mendeleev's nomenclature for unnamed and undiscovered elements, Moscovium is sometimes known as Aka bismuth. 
In 1979 IUPAC recommended that the placeholder systematic element name Unun Pentium with the corresponding symbol of UUP be used until the discovery of the element is confirmed and a permanent name is decided. Although widely used in the chemical community on all levels, from chemistry classrooms to advanced textbooks, the recommendations were mostly ignored among scientists in the field, who called it, "...element 115." With the symbol of E115, 115, 115, or even simply 115, on the 30th of December 2015, discovery of the element was recognized by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry (IUPAC). According to IUPAC recommendations, the discoverers of a new element has the right to suggest a name. A suggested name was Langevinium, after Paul Langevin. Later, the Dubna team mentioned the name Moscovium several times as one among many possibilities, referring to the Moscow Oblast where Dubna is located. In June 2016, IUPAC endorsed the latter proposal to be formally accepted by the end of the year, which it was on 28 November 2016. The naming made Russia one of two countries with an element named after both itself and its capital. The naming ceremony for Moscovium, Tenesine, and Oganesin was held on 2 March 2017 at the Russian Academy of Sciences in Moscow. Predicted properties Nuclear stability and isotopes Moscovium is expected to be in the middle of an island of stability centered on Copernicium element 112 and Fluorovium element 114. The reasons for the presence of this island, however, are still not well understood. Due to the expected high fission barriers, any nucleus within this island of stability exclusively decays by alpha decay and perhaps some electron capture and beta decay. Although the known isotopes of Moscovium do not actually have enough neutrons to be on the island of stability, they can be seen to approach the island as in general. The heavier isotopes are the longer lived ones. The hypothetical isotope 291 mic is an especially interesting case as it has only one neutron more than the heaviest known Moscovium isotope, 290 mic. It could plausibly be synthesized as the daughter of 295 teraseconds, which in turn could be made from the reaction 249 BK 48 CA 2N 295 teraseconds. Calculations show that it may have a significant electron capture or positron emission decay mode in addition to alpha decaying and also have a relatively long half-life of several seconds. This would produce 291 Florida, 291 NH, and finally 291 CN which is expected to be in the middle of the island of stability and have a half-life of about 1,200 years, affording the most likely hope of reaching the middle of the island using current technology. Possible drawbacks are that the cross-section of the production reaction of 295 teraseconds is expected to be low and the decay properties of super-heavy nuclei this close to the line of beta stability are largely unexplored. Other possibilities to synthesize nuclei on the island of stability include quasi-fission partial fusion followed by fission of a massive nucleus. Such nuclei tend to fission, expelling doubly magic or nearly doubly magic fragments such as calcium-40, tin-132, lead-208, or bismuth-209. Recently it has been shown that the multi-nucleon transfer reactions in collisions of actinide nuclei such as uranium and curium might be used to synthesize the neutron-rich super-heavy nuclei located at the island of stability, although formation of the lighter elements nobelium or cyborgium is more favored. One last possibility to synthesize isotopes near the island is to use controlled nuclear explosions to create a neutron flux high enough to bypass the gaps of instability at 258 to 260 fm and at mass number 275, atomic numbers 104 to 108, mimicking the R process in which the actinides were first produced in nature and the gap of instability around radon bypassed. Some such isotopes especially 291 CN and 293 CN may even have been synthesized in nature, but would have decayed away far too quickly with half-lives of only thousands of years and be produced in far too small quantities about 10-12 the abundance of lead to be detectable as primordial nuclides today outside cosmic rays. Physical and atomic 
In the periodic table, moscovium is a member of group 15, the nictogens, below nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth. Every previous nictogen has five electrons in its valence shell, forming a valence electron configuration of Ns2NP3. In Moscovium's case, the trend should be continued and the valence electron configuration is predicted to be 7s27 P3, therefore, Moscovium will behave similarly to its lighter congeners in many respects. However, notable differences are likely to arise, a largely contributing effect is the spin orbit so interaction the mutual interaction between the electron's motion and spin. It is especially strong for the superheavy elements, because their electrons move much faster than in lighter atoms, at velocities comparable to the speed of light. In relation to Moscovium atoms, it lowers the 7s and the 7p electron energy levels stabilizing the corresponding electrons, but two of the 7p electron energy levels are stabilized more than the other four. The stabilization of the 7s electrons is called the inert pair effect, and the effect tearing the 7p subshell into the more stabilized and the less stabilized parts is called subshell splitting. Computation chemists see the split as a change of the second azimuthal quantum number L from 1 to 1 half and 3 halves for the more stabilized and less stabilized parts of the 7p subshell, respectively. For many theoretical purposes, the valence electron configuration may be represented to reflect the 7p subshell split as 7s 27p 21 27s p 13 halves. These effects cause Moscovium's chemistry to be somewhat different from that of its lighter congeners. The valence electrons of Moscovium fall into three subshells, 7s 2 electrons, 7p 1 half 2 electrons, and 7p 3 halves 1 electron. The first two of these are relativistically stabilized and hence behave as inert pairs, while the last is relativistically destabilized and can easily participate in chemistry. The 6d electrons are not destabilized enough to participate chemically, although this may still be possible in the two previous elements nihonium and fluorovium. Thus, the plus 1 oxidation state should be favored, like Tl, and consistent with this, the first ionization potential of moscovium should be around 5.58 electron volts, continuing the trend towards low lower ionization potentials down the nictogens. Moscovium and nihonium both have one electron outside a quasi-closed shell configuration that can be delocalized in the metallic state, thus they should have similar melting and boiling points both melting around 400 degrees Celsius and boiling around 1100 degrees Celsius due to the strength of their metallic bonds being similar. Additionally, the predicted ionization potential, ionic radius 1.5 A for Mc+, 1.0 A for Mc3+, and polarizability of Mc+, are expected to be more similar to Tl+, than its true congener by 3+. Moscovium should be a dense metal due to its high atomic weight, with a density around 13.5 g per cc. The electron of the hydrogen-like moscovium atom oxidized so that it only has one electron, Mc114+, is expected to move so fast that it has a mass 1.82 times that of a stationary electron, due to relativistic effects. For comparison, the figures for hydrogen-like bismuth and antimony are expected to be 1.25 and 1.077 respectively. Chemical. Moscovium is predicted to be the third member of the 7p series of chemical elements and the heaviest member of group 15 in the periodic table, below bismuth. Unlike the two previous 7p elements, moscovium is expected to be a good homologue of its lighter congener, in this case bismuth. In this group, each member is known to portray the group oxidation state of plus 5 but with differing stability. For nitrogen, the plus 5 state is mostly a formal explanation of molecules like N2O5. It is very difficult to have five covalent bonds to nitrogen due to the inability of the small nitrogen atom to accommodate five ligands. The plus 5 state is well represented for the essentially non relativistic typical nictogens phosphorus, arsenic, and antimony. However, for bismuth it becomes rare due to the relativistic stabilization of the 6s orbitals known as the inert pair effect, so that the 6s electrons are reluctant to bond chemically. It is expected that moscovium will have an inert pair effect for both the 7s and the 7p1/2 electrons, as the binding energy of the lone 7p3/2 electron is noticeably lower than that of the 7p1/2 electrons. 
Nitrogen I and bismuth I are known but rare and moscovium I is likely to show some unique properties, probably behaving more like thallium I than bismuth I. Because of spin-orbit coupling, fluorovium may display closed shell or noble gas-like properties. If this is the case, moscovium will likely be typically monovalent as a result, since the cation Mc+ will have the same electron configuration as fluorovium, perhaps giving moscovium some alkali metal character. However, the Mc3 plus cation would behave like its true lighter homologue Bi3 plus. The 7s electrons are too stabilized to be able to contribute chemically and hence the plus 5 state should be impossible and moscovium may be considered to have only 3 valence electrons. Moscovium would be quite a reactive metal, with a standard reduction potential of minus 1.5 volts for the Mc+. Mc couple. The chemistry of moscovium in aqueous solution should essentially be that of the Mc+, and Mc3 plus ions. The former should be easily hydrolyzed and not be easily complexed with halides, cyanide, and ammonia. Moscovium I hydroxide MCOH, carbonate MC2CO3, oxalate MC2CO4, and fluoride MCF should be soluble in water, the sulfide MC2S should be insoluble, and the chloride MCCl, bromide MCBR, iodide MCI, and thiocyanate MCSCN should be only slightly soluble, so that adding excess hydrochloric acid would not noticeably affect the solubility of Moscovium I chloride. Mc3 plus should be about as stable as Tl3 plus and hence should also be an important part of Moscovium chemistry, although its closest homologue among the elements should be its lighter congener Bi3 plus. Moscovium fluoride MCF3 and thiozonide MCS3 should be insoluble in water, similar to the corresponding bismuth compounds, while moscovium chloride MCCl3, bromide MCBr3, and iodide MCI3 should be readily soluble and easily hydrolyzed to form oxyhalides such as MCOCl and MCOBr, again analogous to bismuth. Both moscovium I and moscovium III should be common oxidation states and their relative stability should depend greatly on what they are complexed with and the likelihood of hydrolysis, like its lighter homologues ammonia, phosphine, arsine, stibine, and bismuthine. Moscovine MCH3 is expected to have a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry, with an MCH bond length of 195.4 pm and a H MCH bond angle of 91.8 degrees. Bismuthine has bond length 181. 0.7 pm and bond angle 91.9 degrees. Stibine has bond length 172.3 pm and bond angle 92.0 degrees. In the predicted aromatic pentagonal planar Mc5 cluster, analogous to pentazolate N5, the Mc Mc bond length is expected to be expanded from the extrapolated value of 156 to 158 pm to 329 pm due to spin orbit coupling effects. Experimental chemistry Unambiguous determination of the chemical characteristics of moscovium has yet to have been established. In 2011, experiments were conducted to create nihonium, fluorovium, and moscovium isotopes in the reactions between calcium-48 projectiles and targets of americium-243 and plutonium-244. However, the targets included lead and bismuth impurities and hence some isotopes of bismuth and polonium were generated in nucleon transfer reactions. This, while an unforeseen complication, could give information that would help in the future chemical investigation of the heavier homologues of bismuth and polonium, which are respectively moscovium and livermorium. The produced nuclides bismuth-213 and polonium-212 m were transported as the hydrides 213 bismuth-3 hydride and 212 MPOH2 at 850 degrees Celsius through a quartz wool filter unit held with tantalum, showing that these hydrides were surprisingly thermally stable, although their heavier congeners MCH3 and LVH2 would be expected to be less thermally stable from simple extrapolation of periodic trends in the p-block. Further calculations on the stability and electronic structure of bismuth 3 hydride, MCH3, polonium 2 hydride, and LVH2 are needed before chemical investigations take place. However, moscovium and livermorium are expected to be volatile enough as pure elements for them to be chemically investigated in the near future. The moscovium isotopes 288 mc, 289 mc, and 290 mc may be chemically investigated with current methods, although their short half-lives would make this challenging. 
Moscovium is the heaviest element that has known isotopes that are long lived enough for chemical experimentation. See also Materials science in science fiction section Moscovium Notes <laughs>